I think that we have a consensus that is the need to address uh, environmental uh, unsustainability and the resource constraints um, through a um, paradigm shift from an industrial to ecological civilization. In an agrarian uh, society, the sky is always blue and the water is clean, but the quality of living is pretty low. The solution to underdevelopment, you may agree with me, is that uh, industrialize and urbanize. And China is now halfway through the transition <coughs> from an agrarian to industrial society in less than 40 years. Poverty has been substantially reduced, if not eliminated. More than uh, more people living in cities than in rural areas. And of course, income has uh, increased from low to medium level. But this is at a price, in particular with respect to environmental sustainability and the resource constraints. Urban diseases are very widespread and alarming, like uh, air pollution, water shortage, and the contamination, food insecurity, food unsafety, and of course, traffic jams, and heavy reliance on imports of raw materials from outside. The scale and the challenge of urbanization in China is unprecedented in the history of human development. In 2030 or so, we would have uh, over 1 billion Chinese living in cities. Then what are we going to do? Can we continue such a um, path of development? Certainly, we need to rethink the current uh, pattern of development. The current uh, way of development, of course, is something we may call an industrial we of uh, uh, industrial civilization, which relies on utilitarian and uh, fossil fuels. Utilitarian, you know, if there's a utility, and then there would be a value. There's no, you know, profit maximization pays little attention to the negative external effects. So in this case, the um, the fossil fuels are exhaustible. When the fossil fuels are depleted, and then how are we going to continue our industrial civilization? So this proves that we need to have a new paradigm for harmony between man and the nature. And this is something we may call in contrast to industrial civilization ecological civilization. Under such a new paradigm, the ecological system will be resilient with a high level of natural productivity. The economic system will be characterized by low input, zero emission, and high output. And the um, institutions will be well designed and functioning for prosperity and the sustainability. Then we need to see what are going to do in the future. The um, Chinese government is very aware of the challenges in terms of uh, you know, global sustainability concern, in particular climate change. The current uh, emission in China, in per capita terms, you know, we are uh, higher than uh, quite a few EU member states like uh, French and Sweden. In aggregate terms, the total amount is the combination of the United States and the EU27. So we have to change the paradigm. Through such a change of paradigm, we can remove the roots of unsustainability. And what we have would be the increased appreciating natural assets instead of the 
some sort of uh, unnecessary, excessive, depreciating artificial assets. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much.